have a speaker who is uh, a, a part of the India's of India's CPM, and uh, that's uh, Jagmati Sangwan. Uh, so I would like to invite uh, uh, Ms. Jagmati if uh, if your camera's on. So my question to you is that, uh, of course, you have worked so much for uh, women's rights, violence against women. You worked, uh, you know, for uh, against these car panchayats and honor-based crime. Uh, uh, one of the things that you have been a pioneer has been to set up safe houses for couples in Haryana, which has now become a template that is being used across India. So uh, please tell us about this. How did you go about it? And why did we have a need for this kind of a thing in India? Uh, yes, Ekta. Uh, first of all, uh, thanks a lot for making me part of this uh, discussion. I'm also learning a lot from the experiences of different uh, countries uh, uh, from our friends. And uh, uh, while uh, talking about our own experience, uh, you know, I'm based in Rotak in Haryana, yes. uh, north of uh, India. And uh, I come from a place of Hali, uh, uh, whom you mentioned earlier also. Uh, and uh, here uh, we have been working around the honor killing and honor crime since uh, more than 30 years. And uh, majorly our intervention has been concentrated around the uh, intercaste uh, choice marriages. Uh, and uh, uh, we have been counseling uh, young couples. We have been getting them married. We are parents of so many of them to uh, get married. And uh, we have been able to get punished uh, uh, many uh, perpetrators of violence here. Uh, and uh, uh, personally, uh, coming from left-oriented organization, uh, most of us, we have got uh, married according to our uh, choice uh, and uh, we also faced uh, some type of uh, hostility and uh, ostracity also at some levels. And uh, then we decided to uh, work on this area uh, and uh, what we find that uh, here uh, people uh, take honor crime and honor killing uh, simply it's a difference of ideas of generational gap and like that. The political economy uh, linked uh, to this choice marriage and this uh, honor killing and honor crime uh, is uh, less in uh, discussion. Uh, I think uh, we should uh, uh, concentrate on uh, that uh, dimension of this uh, choice, marriage, uh, like that. And uh, in Haryana, because uh, 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 there were so many uh, killings and uh, ostracization of, of those people who got married according to their choice, and the state machinery and the human rights protection agencies, uh, they were not coming forward to protect those couples who got married according to their choice. And uh, 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 in that case, we intervened and to fix up the accountability of state uh, towards uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, human rights of those uh, individuals who want to get married according to their choice. And uh, they were evading it uh, comfortably. Uh, we uh, uh, evolved this idea of safe uh, couple uh, protection homes. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, it was majorly focused that the state can't evade uh, its responsibility towards those young people who are getting married and they are being killed, uh, 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 being no fault of theirs. Uh, so uh, we evolved this idea and uh, we met the uh, Punjab and Haryana High Court Chief Justice that uh, there should be couple protection homes at all districts. And uh, if a couple perceives uh, some type of uh, violence when they decide to get married, they should be shifted to the protection homes. And uh, there, uh, all type of facilities uh, must be there for, uh, for them. And uh, the parents uh, who uh, uh, are uh, raised uh, due to the decision of their uh, uh, children, uh, they should be, uh, there should be counseling uh, provision for them also. Uh, so uh, in Haryana, uh, Haryana is the first state uh, and the only state I feel these days, uh, uh, no, uh, in Punjab also. Uh, the Punjab Haryana High Court is one and uh, they uh, issued this direction. We have a couple protection homes at all district level. 
uh, although the facilities over there are not that good and uh, in the name of protection uh, many times there is a violation of their human rights uh, also uh, uh, whom they will meet whom they would not and this type of things and privacy is the main tragedy uh, uh, there uh, but still uh, they uh, their lives are saved at least and uh, some of the parents uh, while they are undergoing the counseling they also uh, uh, um, uh, change their mind uh, 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 regarding the violence against their children. Uh, so uh, these days at every district headquarters, there are uh, couples who are uh, there in couple protection homes. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, we are able to fix the accountability of state and uh, at the same time saving the lives of these uh, couples who got married according to their choice. Mm. So in a way, the the pro, you know the whole program has been su successful in one way, but there are still uh, obstacles to be faced at the local law and order situation, the policing situation. Uh, we yes. still have uh, some way to go. Yes, uh, yes, uh, particularly in the given context when uh, there is this government uh, BJP government in power, uh, they are totally against these uh, uh, safe houses. And uh, they are actually against the idea of choice marriage because they believe in one vavastha and that all. So they are uh, uh, every day cutting on the budget uh, aspect of it. And uh, they are snatching away the facility. Earlier, there was a, uh, there was a plan of establishing these uh, uh, protection homes uh, in, uh, 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 in uh, better locations. But mm. now uh, we see that uh, these are being run uh, in more congested uh, places and uh, there is only one room and there are six couples uh, after getting uh, married, mm. they are living there in the same room. Uh, so uh, after, uh, in, uh, during this regime particularly, uh, these uh, couple protection homes uh, are facing uh, a type of hostility uh, from the government side. But mm. uh, yes, uh, 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 due to the uh, pressure of our organizations, they are not uh, able to close these, uh, to decide on that part. Uh, yeah. But yes, uh, every day uh, the problems are on increase due to the negative uh, attitude of this uh, government. In India, we have the problem of half panchayats, uh, you know, they're actively encouraging on a based crime. And many of these are because of intercommunity love. So uh, can you share your experience about why do these rural communities feel so threatened by love and why do they react so violently, even against their own family members? I mean, forget girls, even boys are not allowed to choose for themselves. So can you share your experience about working with these communities and in villages? Uh, uh, while analyzing the uh, different cases, uh, we, uh, uh, what we found that uh, the most heinous uh, barbaric violence is uh, in those cases where the girls are from upper caste and the boys are from Dalit caste. And uh, if a girl is from uh, uh, Pigeantry, that community, and a boy is from uh, Balmiki, then uh, surely they are going to be killed. Uh, and uh, 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 yes, uh, with the changing of time, that the tolerance for uh, choice marriage has increased, but uh, uh, that also uh, uh, with uh, 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 in those castes where uh, this uh, 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 shifting of property is does not take place. Uh, uh, what we feel that uh, uh, there are seeds of uh, equality in choice marriage. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, which make these people uh, upset because if a, a girl from upper caste, she uh, decides to get married to a Dalit boy, then uh, uh, definitely uh, the girl has got hostile today on the issue of marriage. To, tomorrow she will claim her property also. And when their kids will be there, they, uh, it does not mean that uh, they will follow any caste system. Uh, and uh, they can also uh, uh, go for uh, uh, living according to their choice. So the uh, seed of formation of an egalitarian society is there in uh, choice marriage. And uh, while 
uh, these girls are getting married to Dalit boys, uh, and uh, if they claim their property, then with the change of property, the uh, shift of power takes place uh, in a way. And this shift of power uh, is uh, disliked the most by those sections, those hegemonic sections who have been uh, controlling the uh, socio-economic life out there in rural areas, in villages, uh, and, uh, uh, and all. So uh, in those cases, these uh, Kha Panchayats, they are so very well organized that uh, uh, the different political parties, those who are in power, mainstream political parties, they don't want to annoy the caste uh, panchayats uh, due to the uh, vote consideration. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, and uh, they uh, don't uh, allow the law to be implemented. Uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, the response of Human Rights uh, Commission or Women Commission, when we approach them, we have been we have been approaching them many times because we have intervened uh, in, in many cases. Uh, their response is very uh, delayed, uh, but uh, at the same time, the uh, political parties uh, uh, and uh, uh, the caste panchayats, they are hand in gloves on this issue. They have mm. some tacit uh, understanding uh, within uh, and uh, the, the bureaucracy and the police uh, bureaucracy, they come from this hegemonic section itself. Uh, they also uh, deliberately uh, don't uh, want to let these marriages become uh, uh, a normalized, uh, normal thing uh, in the society because mm. they have their own vested interest. The power mm. consideration, the vote uh, consideration, these all play their role uh, mm. and uh, uh, with uh, recent uh, now uh, we are uh, 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 leading our campaign for the enactment of law against honor crime and honor killing uh, mm -hmm. and the upa government earlier upa government they had formed a group of ministers also to take up this issue but mm -hmm. uh, when this uh, uh, bjp came in power uh, and we uh, met the law minister, the then law minister, Mr. Sadanand Gowda. There was a delegation of women organizations. And uh, when we went to him, uh, uh, his response was that, uh, oh, you are here for the enactment of law against honor crime and honor killing. You uh, give me your memorandum and uh, we will think it over. And I have a uh, huge fear that uh, this, if we go for enactment of this law, it will be hugely misused, like the 498A anti dowry and the SCST Act. And uh, uh, after that, we never got any response from uh, uh, this uh, present regime. So, uh, there, uh, the political uh, economy linked to this. Uh, this issue uh, it plays very big role uh, in the in the violence and uh, we need to expose it more and more uh, okay. it is uh, 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 whether there are minorities where are uh, whether there are uh, these lower castes uh, the uh, the forces the hegemonic forces which are uh, holding uh, all type of resources and enjoying all type of uh, freedom. They don't want these people to come up and mm -hmm. break the barriers lying over there. So uh, this is the crux of our uh, uh, experience that uh, uh, this uh, political economy linked to this uh, plays a very big role uh, uh, that uh, 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 the state agencies, uh, uh, they, they don't come forward to protect this democratic right of uh, individuals to get married according to their choice.